This video will show you how to monitor what is happening in the simulation by stopping at certain events and displaying some of Veracut's monitoring tools. Here we have a Veracut project open. The Veracut setup is complete, and now we can monitor what is happening in the simulation. First, let's display the NC program panel. This panel displays the NC program file being simulated. The blue arrow pointer indicates the current NC program record being processed. The driven point zero axis displays the driven point and the program zero location. The axis represents where the program zero is located, and the crosshair symbol indicates what is being driven, typically the tooltip or the spindle face. We single step the simulation until the first tool change. Notice that the tool loads into the spindle and that the driven point is still at the spindle face. We continue to process the simulation. At the G43 line, the driven point moves to the tip of the tool. This is because G43 activates the tool length offset. The Veracut simulation can be set to automatically stop at certain events. To do this, we right-click on the play button and select one of the options from the pull-down list. For example, stop at every tool change. Clicking on the reset button will cause Veracut to reload the original stock model and rewind the NC program. Now when we click the play button, the simulation stops at the first tool change. The status panel, which is configurable, provides status information about the simulation and what would be occurring on the CNC machine. Let's reset the simulation, remove the stop at every tool change, and use the NC program window to search for specific text. M97. Then set the simulation to stop at that text. We click the play button and the simulation will run until a N97 is found. Let's adjust the two views to better see what is occurring. This command is a call to a subroutine. We click on the single step button and the simulation jumps to the start of the subroutine. Notice that the single step button has right click options, which enable you to specify what you want Veracut to do when a subroutine is encountered. Let's select play until the end of the subroutine. The call stack panel enables you to track information like depth or level of subroutine calls. We can single step until we are back in the main program, and then we can continue with the simulation. And that's it. For more information on the features you have seen here, see the Veracut help. Or, for a step-by-step -step training session, see the Veracut welcome screen.